Hey everyone, how's it going? Will here. Just a bit of a reflection on the day. I know that I'm driving right now and uh, I take this as an opportunity to be able to make a bit of a video podcast. I can kind of record myself without looking at the camera. Not only does it help with a little bit of anxiety, but it also kind of gives you um, a look into, you know, the life of a realtor. So I just had a conversation with someone that I met not too long ago, uh, close to my home. And she mentioned that um, she had given up. She had given up on the uh, on on the home search. I'm at a red light now, so I guess I get to look into the camera. Hello. So she had given up into finding a home, and she got really discouraged because she just kept getting pounded and pounded and pounded and pounded. She kept putting in offer after offer, and it was all getting shot down the drain. And I'm pretty sure this is a problem that a lot of buyers have experienced, that a lot of agents have experienced as well because there's two sides. I mean, as, as a client, you're thinking, hey, is this really meant for me? And as a as an agent, then you know, you, you can start to doubt yourself. You know what, it, it's, it's, am I really doing right by my client? At, at least that's how I like to feel. You know, it's, it's, am I really making those decisions you know, that, I'm, that are ultimately helping my client get one step closer to their goal? I think that um, if you happen to be someone in that predicament, we gotta take a step back and we gotta dissect the the thinking and um, you know our 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 strategy behind behind the whole ordeal. Okay, and one of the things that we have to look at is hey, have we taken the time to really stand back, look at what we're trying to do? Have we broken down our finances? Have we really pictured what life would be like if we were to obtain set property and set thing or see? This may seem a little bit off topic, but it kind of stems from a conversation, from, from part of the conversation that I had earlier, which is, hey, you know what? Should I wait for home prices and prices to go down or should I wait for interest rates to go down? And the way that I see it is this, you know, you can't be certain of of anything at the end of the day. There's no such thing as 100% certainty, especially in the real, especially in, in the real estate market. Interest rates are climbing, okay? Every single professional that I've spoken to in the mortgage field has not given me an indication that the interest rates are going to come back down in the twos as we saw before. You know, instead, they have been steadily inclining. Even the Fed has pointed to that direction. Every single factor out there points us that the interest rates are going on a hike, okay? Look at the look at everything that's going on, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. There's many people out there who would come to the same conclusion. Now, equity takes a long time to build unless we are doing some type of fix and flip or, you know, we're finding, you know, we're looking at a bigger project. When we just look at the residential landscape of buying and selling, equity can take some time to build. You don't just hop into something and say, hey, you know, well, un unless you buy something under value, you happen to have equity right off the bat, you know, your appraisal comes in higher, you close your deal. But ultimately, equity is something that takes time to build. It takes a little while for for you to start seeing those results, okay? It can be, in, in a lot of cases, it can be quite a couple of years before you see that, where interest rates tend to be more volatile. They fluctuate a lot quicker. So if you're someone who's waiting to see if, hey, you know what, should I pull the trigger? Is it the right decision for me to go look for the right home? Then I would advise you to go ahead and go on the hunt, go on the search, but you gotta make sure that you take that time to truly look at everything. Look at the big picture, look at the whole panorama and tell yourself, hey, am I really prepared to take on this journey? Ask your agent, ask them, hey, what is the market telling us? What are the numbers saying? The area that I'm looking in, what are homes selling for in that price point? What have been some of the key factors that have made those sales happen in that little bubble where I may be looking for? Okay, how much have offers been going for? Have them prepare something for you. Have them look at the numbers and tell you, hey, you know what? What are the best ways that we can equip ourselves, okay, to go into this battle? You know, it is brutal out there. As a buyer's agent, I can tell you, I mean, it's it's brutal. You know, you go with 10, 20 offers and people are risking 10, $20,000 over asking price. This is people's hard earned money. You, you could you could employ a lot of these funds in many different ways. It doesn't just have to go over paying over asking price on anything. And there's multiple ways of preparing ourselves to really say, you know what? 
we're gonna submit the best possible bids in behalf of our clients. Going over asking price is not the only way. It's not the only thing that you can do. That was part of, the, if, if not the biggest point of the conversation that I had earlier, which is, hey, I'm submitting some of these offers and this is the amount of money that I have to really come to the table with. You know, I have X amount of money to be able to go over or, or whatever the case would be. And my response was, well, hey, you know, what are some of the things that um, that you've really liked about the offers that you saw? What were some of those key points where you saw your agent go above and beyond that would make that offer stand out in the sea of many? Okay. Ultimately, not the not all highest bids end up winning. Okay. It's not always about who gives the most, the most money. It's about who solves the most problems or who solves the right problems. And also, communication is key. You want to be front of mind. You want your agent to position your offer front of mind. You wanna make sure that whenever that person thinks about taking in a bid, that is you they think of. They gotta know you, they gotta like you, they gotta trust you, they gotta make sure that, hey, you know what? I wanna work with this person. I admire the way they work, I admire Okay, their communication skills, they're persistent, but yet again, they have an element of relativity, okay, you know, that I can appreciate. Like, I see how they're working. Mine is video. That is my weapon of choice. And if you want to know more about how I implemented in winning bids and going through those bidding wars and saying, you know what, I came out, then I'm, I'm hey, I'm welcome to mastermind have a consultation if you're a client that's looking at this video or a future client that's thinking about hey you know what why should i choose you will then i can show you some of the things that i do and some of the ways that i've won some of those offers really complicated offers by implementing my strategies this is strategies that my team share and it's things that have given us quantifiable results okay because i can tell you that i've won bids that have not been the highest amount that I've not had the quickest closing, and ultimately, I've positioned them front of mind. I've been able to keep that communication flow. It can be overwhelming for a seller sometimes to go through an insane amount of offers and deals. They may make a quick decision. They may say, you know what? I like what I see. It gives me a sense of trust. It gives me a sense of comfortability. It gives me what I'm looking for. They may wanna pull the decision as soon as they look at your offer. Why not position yourself as close okay to that decision making ability as you possibly can there's multiple things that we can do and I think the core element to winning bids and to keep our buyers from getting frustrated from losing hope you know from getting discouraged in this market we're in and allowing them to take advantage of all of the future equity that is being projected to gain over the next few years is to keep the flow of communication as consistent and powerful as possible if you guys want to know more about what I do, what my team does, 832-305-4755, give me a call, shoot me a text, if you follow any of my pages, then send me a DM, and let's talk, okay? Again, excuse the driving, but I'm human. You know, I, I, I like to communicate as best as I can. Video is, is my favorite method of choice, and I get conscious about staring into this camera, but I still believe that there's there's ways to do things there's not a lack of there's not a lack of anything you know ultimately it's it's not a lack of inventory problem it's a lack of action problem what can we do to fix it what can we do to strengthen the pledge that we make to every single client and all the families that we want to help out there okay so that's my reflection for the day thank you for so much for watching and listening talk to you guys later